everyone so it's saturday and it's kind of chaotic here again it will be i'll keep saying that probably i'm just going to rip up the carpet on these stairs as you can see it's super super gross like this pad look at how gross that is oh my gosh i need them ripped out so that i can finish painting this wall they're just grossing me out. embarrassing but I'm like out of breath doing that you'll see what a struggle that was for me I also stabbed myself the carpet nail so that wasn't great kind of got some blood on me so I'm gonna show you how gross these stairs are straight up these pads are wet we haven't walked in here with wet shoes like I don't even know what it as you can see the pads are super super dirty super gross i ripped one off the wood stairs underneath are in really good shape so hopefully we'll do something cool with those so let's start at the top here Ooh. i wish you guys could see how gross this is Ugh. Ugh. but honestly the stairs are in really good shape so I can't complain too much. done kind of I'm gonna have to go through and pull these tack strips off oh, and then I'm gonna have to find out ways to get these carpet staples out of those like so today I let my chickens free range and now I can't catch three of the Easter eggers they're being little assholes I don't really know what to do about it honestly we've got um this guy over here. Chicken Nugget literally won't come to me. Like every time I try and grab her, she just runs and I don't know what to do about it. Oh, I got her. I got her. She's pissed. Two chickens to go. They're back in there. So it's Sunday. Yesterday, Lane stripped wallpaper off of the living room walls. I ripped up the carpet on the stairs. We finished using the dry compound in the bathroom. So hopefully we'll get that painted and the tub resurfaced and tile up early this week. So I'll show you where we're at right now. Here's Lainey. Still here. <laughs> Still here, barely. Okay, so he stripped all this wallpaper off. There is a coat of primer under these walls. So that's why you see the white. That's not glue, luckily. But we still have a little bit above the window to get. And then this wall is not quite done. And then this corner we haven't even really started. The stairs right now, I spent quite a few hours ripping up the tack boards that the carpet was on. And then there were a bunch of like little carpet staples Oh no, you can still see some of them. I haven't gotten all of them. We just went through and ripped those up. We're not exactly sure here first. We have a couple cracked stairs, so they have this like 
wood holding that part of the wood up so we'll probably buy two new stairs and we're not sure if we're going to paint these or stain them or cover them or what exactly we're we're gonna do right now dark stain on top with white on the face and i think black no. on the face boards and keep this wood color no. so no. we'll see i'm the designer lane's my design assistant so he just needs to remember that. I'm the vice designer. <laughs> vice designer. <laughs> and then we still haven't gotten all that wallpaper off. I got some more of it off yesterday. Um, so this still needs to be textured and then we can paint this hallway. Up in this hallway, Lane has put a couple coats of white primer on the walls, but it still needs some more. It's already so much brighter. Bathroom is all textured, sanded, as you can see. Now it's ready to just be wiped off real fast. Get all the loose dust particles off of it. And we'll start painting. All right, we're gonna give it about five more minutes and then slap a coat of paint on it. Just let this dry real fast, be good to go. All right, so while that's drying, it's almost done. <clears throat> I'm gonna start sanding the hallway. We've already done two coats of joint compound, two co or three coats of paint, and it still hasn't been turning out very well. So we did another coat of joint compound over the creases on the line and made sure that it's sticking up over the cracks so that we can sand it down a little bit and basically just take away any of the little edges on there, stuff like this, and this. We actually bought some pretty nice paint from Home Depot. That stuff right there. Bear. So we bit the bullet, bought some nice paint because we're sick of using crappy paint and uh, having to put layer after layer on and it still doesn't look very good. this paint it's bare premium interior ceiling flat ultra pure white just did one little section of the wall with this so this is with three coats of things like glidden or something something like cheaper so after one coat of this bare it's way way just better you can see how transparent this is after a couple coats. You can still see the dark, the darkness underneath. And then if you look over here to this bear, you can't see any of that. A, you don't have to use nearly as much paint. And B, you don't have to take nearly as much time because you don't have to put as many coats on. So it is a little bit more expensive, but over in the long run, in terms of money and time, I definitely think it's worth it. 
And here's a little bit better look at the bear versus the Glidden. You can see how thick and how nice that is. You can't see through it. And then you can see the Glidden over here. Let me step back a little bit. That's a better look. You can see the Glidden right there. That's three coats versus one coat of this. Yes, this is sitting on top of those three coats, but still. Looks like, this just looks like you spilled milk on it. <laughs> Terrible, so I'm really happy that we actually bought this nice paint. painting the bathroom today. Um, it's all white, it's super bright. Now we get to restore the bathtub and then tile, subway tile. We're gonna do white subway tile with white grout and it's gonna look so good. We're gonna have this like really beautiful, bright white bathroom and I can't wait. So I'll kind of give you guys a little bit of an update on what it looks like right now. Super bright white, everything's painted at this point. The texture is great. Um, you can see it's not that crazy orange peel anymore. It's just like flat and it's exactly what we want. The ceiling, we did keep the orange peel texture just because we didn't have time. This is the difference in the color of paint before and what it is now. The only reason we didn't finish painting like right here is because this is all gonna be subway tile. So this entire shower is going to be subway tile. And we didn't paint down here because this is also gonna be subway tile, which I think is gonna look really, really good. So next up, refinishing the bathtub and then tile. So this is an update on the hallway. I did one coat on the trim up along the top. Lane had done the walls. It's looking much better. I also did a coat on the ceiling. And then I moved down this little stairway and I did the ceiling down there. I still haven't gotten this wallpaper off or textured all the way up because we need to get the ladder that works with stairs from my parents' house. And then we'll be able to finish that up. Hopefully we'll do that tonight. I have pretty much finished the texturing on this entire hallway. So let me show you what it's looking like. This is what the stairway looks like. So almost completely textured. It'll look super great once it is. And we've got little Bannon up here in the corner being a weirdo. All right. Well, the dog goes and I say bye. All right, it is Thursday night and we have finished up week two of our renovation process. And this week was a complete shit show. We had pretty much everything go wrong that possibly could have this week, but it's fine. Mm -hmm. It was all pretty minor. This week we had some issues with the internet being installed. Where we are is just so rural, seven minutes away from Missoula, Montana, that they can't get us high speed internet out here, I guess. They, they can can't only find get us. our house and then they can't give us high speed yeah, internet. Yeah, so the internet guy couldn't find our house three different times. So it's just been a complete, a complete mess and we had the same issue with the garbage guy, like our garbage cancels have been delivered two weeks later. 
And what else happened this week that was crazy? Power got shut off. Oh yeah. So then we couldn't, we thought um, our power was through Northwestern Energy, which does pretty much all the power in Montana. And we actually have power through Montana. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Gunner is just trying to get in here in the frame, but we have energy through Missoula Electric Co-op. We hadn't been paying our bill because we had been trying to pay it through Northwestern and they said we didn't exist. So we were super <laughs> confused. Actually, we were supposed to be paying Missoula Electric Co-op so they shut off our power. <laughs> so we didn't have power last night. It got turned back on this morning. So we just had kind of like a crazy week. Everything's kind of been all over the place, yeah. but overall nothing like too crazy right now. We um, are super lucky though and super thankful because my cousin Jeremy is an electrician and him and his family, his wife and his two really adorable children are gonna come to Missoula this weekend and help us out with the electrical, which is just like so, so nice. And we are so thankful um, that they're gonna come out and do that for us. Yep. And we're super excited to get to hang out with them this weekend too. So that is the plan moving forward for week three. But this week we accomplished the second coat in the bedroom. We textured the entire hallway. We painted, painted the hallway a few different times, got some coats on it. We finished texturing the bathroom painted. and painted it. It's completely painted, cleaned up all the pop, like the dust from the joint compound sandy. Now we're working on refinishing the tub right now. It's about what, 11 p.m.? 11 p.m. on Thursday night. So we'll get that footage in this video also. We're turning the blue bathtub white, which we're really excited about. It's going to be awesome once it's done. Hopefully tomorrow, depending on like what we have going on, we might start tiling the bathroom, the shower enclosure, so we can start using that bathtub. That's pretty much all we got done. We had kind of a dud week. Yeah. I worked two 15 hour days. Lane was super busy with stuff that he had to get done outside of work. Didn't have power. We didn't have power <laughs> one night. It was just kind of, it just wasn't our most productive week, to say the least. Moving forward, we're not really sure where we're gonna go. We will likely strip all the wallpaper out of the living room. Lane's got most of it done, but we still need to finish a couple walls. We'll, this weekend with the electric um, being fixed, where those walls are, we'll be able to probably take the walls out or figure out which walls we can take out, yep. kind of clean up that area. We'll probably take the cabinet doors off of the kitchen cabinets, get those ready to resurface, get the bathroom ready to go hang the mirrors. The new bathroom light, vanity light, will be here on Wednesday. So we'll make sure and uh, show that in the next video, which is really exciting. We'll have like our first room done. Yeah, we should, we'll think about ordering a shelf for the shower downstairs too, right? Yeah, so we're gonna be ordering a shower for downstairs um, probably next week or the week after I'd say we'll be get, get going on that so yeah. yeah that's that's kind of where we're at and we'll uh, see you guys next week all right so it is bathtub refinishing time we have scrubbed this bathtub with bleach twice we are now on the stage of scrubbing it with Lime Away. That's what the instructions call for. So we are going to do that. We had to let it sit for 15 minutes. We've done that. We're going to scrub it. Then we need to sand the bathtub. And then we can start painting it with the refinishing kit. So in order to refinish the bathtub, we got the Toughest Tile Home Max um, refinishing kit. I believe it was like 38 bucks or like 40 bucks at Home Depot. And basically it's like roll on paint. It's not reglazing. It's not a professional bathtub glaze. So that's not what we're trying to do. This is just basically a really intense paint that will coat the bathtub and refinish it. So this is like a pretty intense chemical mixture. So we will be using respirator masks and it will take us about three hours total so it might be a late night for me 
So we have finished scrubbing this with Lime Away. And now we're gonna take this razor blade and we need to cut all the caulking out from along around the bathtub before we paint. All right, so we are going to rip this waterproof board that they have around for the shower enclosure because we're gonna be tiling it. So how about it, Lane? So we have ripped the waterproof boards that they had in the shower enclosure off since we're going to be tiling and we have gotten all of the caulking off around the bathtub as you can see. So now what I'm going to do is um, use blue painters tape to tape these handles and the fixtures down there um, so that we can paint and not have to worry about getting those. So I have everything taped up that I don't want to get refinishing paint on and it's time to start painting. This is what it looks like. It is, I did get the painting kit instead of the spray on kit because I felt like it would be a little bit cleaner and not so messy. So what I'm going to do first, I do have like a mask because this stuff smells awful. Like <laughs> the strongest fingernail polish remover you can imagine. Um, but what I'm going to do first is use this to do the edges before I pour it into a paint tray and roll it. Just so that I don't waste any paint. So it's been 20 minutes since I finished this first coat and it's not really close to dry. It's just tacky right now, which we need it to be completely dry before I put the second coat on. But the thing with this bathtub is we tried sanding it and using steel wool to kind of roughen it up so the paint would stick better. And this tub would not, like it was so smooth, like you can't scratch it. I think because of that, you can see the paint's kind of dripping down the side. So hopefully by the second coat, we can kind of fix that phenomenon. But overall, it's looking pretty good still. Hey, so it's been one hour since I finished the first coat on the bathtub refinishing. The box, the instruction says to wait three hours, but it is currently 2.18. AM. I'm not going to wait another two hours to put on a second coat. I'm just going to do it now after an hour because I don't want to be up all night because I have to work at 8 AM tomorrow. I just really wanted to get this bathroom, like the bathtub done this week. So it's our last day of filming. So I was like, we have to do it. So Lane's been sleeping for a couple hours now. So I'm just going to put on the second coat and then go to bed. And it's probably going to need a third coat, but I'm just going to go to bed and I can do that in the morning before I leave for work. So I'm back upstairs in the bathroom and the bathtub is still not quite dry. 
but it is tacky and I think it's tacky enough that I can put on a second coat for now so that I can go to bed since it is almost 2 30 a.m. so I want to get this done and go to sleep so I'm gonna do my second coat really quick right now I'll do a thin coat and then wake up and do the third coat in the morning if need be but I think it will probably be the third coat I accidentally saw my, threw my alarm and I need to be at work right now. So I'm about to let's see. If you can see I'm gonna be painting in heels because I want to get the third coat on because you're supposed to within six hours and this looks so good. It just needs like one more coat, I think, and I think it's gonna look really, really good. So I'm super excited. Here we go. All right, so the bathtub is done. I've done three coats of the tub and tile we're finishing paint. I rolled it all on. It's looking really good. The coverage is looking good. There is a few like minor imperfections. So I have a little bit of paint left in the can. So I'll probably do like a fourth coat, just like touch up, not a full coat throughout the whole tub. But I'm gonna do a little panel so you guys can see what it looks like. It's honestly such a gorgeous tub and it's huge when I sit in it. Um, the tub like hits my shoulder, so it's really deep. It's gonna be a great soaking tub. You just had to look past that bright blue bathtub and it's gonna be gorgeous once we get the whole bathroom together. I'm so, so excited. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.